So thank you very much. I'm Casey Schaffler. I'm going to be talking just a little bit about our SMAC update. SMAC update isn't nearly so uh, comprehensive as the SC Linux update was going to be. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is who's using SMAC. It's usually the first question people ask is, uh, well, is anybody using it? Um, yeah, it turns out that if you have a, a Samsung TV from the past three years, you've got SMAC. Uh, they've also, they're also sneaking into a whole lot of the other Tizen-based devices. Um, so that's coming from Samsung, also some other vendors. Uh, Automotive Grade Linux, which is a, a Linux Foundation project to do uh, software for automotive use, um, is also using SMAC. Uh, so if you have a new Toyota, it's probably got SMAC in it. Uh, the other thing that, that we're finding, um, there's a project called the Yocto project, which is has been described as a Linuxotron. So if you don't want to use a, an existing distribution, you can use Yocto project to define what you want to have in, in a Linux system and create your own. And it has actually fairly extensive support for SMAC as well. So in addition to the, the Tizen and the automotive grade Linux, we're seeing a bunch of onesies, twosies kinds of things coming out where people are doing a board support project or they're doing a special purpose thing and uh, they like having SMAC because it's somewhat easier to work with from a policy standpoint than some of the other systems that are available. Uh, so what's new in SMAC? Uh, not a really a whole lot this year. Uh, we've got, finally got support for overlay FS, which turned out to be painfully trivial. Uh, so that was kind of embarrassing. Um, the other one was, it turned out, we had never implemented a mechanism whereby a privileged process could change, change information about keys. So if, you, if it was your own key with your own, at your own SMAC label, you could change the key just fine, but if you had privilege, you couldn't. So that was a simple, again, a simple uh, change to make so that now you have a little bit more control on your system over your, your key set. So what's fixed, uh, there have been about four or five places within within the code where people have, uh, using clever and modern tools, discovered memory leaks. Uh, generally, they've been trivial. Uh, in a couple of places, they actually weren't memory leaks. They were just you know, system information that was being allocated uh, for future use. But there have been a couple of things that people have found. One of the other things that's been really interesting is that we've been finding that in the early RCs, occasionally, um, well-intended changes break SMAC without anybody detecting it. And this got to, 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 to be enough of a problem that we actually had to start doing every RC testing on a fairly regular basis. Now, the good news there is that meant we actually had to finally write a test suite, which, <clears throat> which is going to be available real soon now, um, internal corporate politics allowing. Um, but it, it, we even had one from Alvira well, where Al went out and made, made a significant change. It's like, excuse me, but um, you know, this doesn't work anymore. It's like, oh, I didn't know that should work. Well, Al, you're supposed to know everything. Well, okay. So we got, he actually convinced me to fix, to, to make a change that, that fixed the problem. But that kind of thing happens. Um, it's happening enough now again that we're actually being more proactive about checking those and detecting those. Um, we had some is minor issues with IPv4 over IPv6. Uh, we got some patches from them from Samsung, uh, as well as UDP Lite and uh, DCCP, which I don't even know what it stands for, but it's fixed to their satisfaction now, so I'm happy. Uh, it's nice to have other people who are actually uh, active and, and know what they want, uh, who are willing to contribute. So the real thing that I want to talk about is things we've got that we'd love to have people work on. And the pack, I think that the projects SMAC has to work on are going to be much more fun than the projects that some other systems have that they would like, like you to work on. Uh, uh, so for example, um, we don't have support for Calypso. And I did spell it right this time. Okay, every other time I've put up a slide with Calypso, I spelled it, spelled it the way the word is spelled, not the way the acronym is spelled. And Paul has come, come and wailed on me because he's a networking guy. Uh, 
<laughs> well, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, fine. He is a networking guy. See, I told you. Okay, so we love the yeah, support for that. Should be a slam dunk. Um, we also have a lot of cases where the net label code is used in a way that's different from the way the net label code really is intended to be used. Um, that causes real issues, not with the SMAC code, SMAC works just fine with it, but if you try to run it and SE Linux at the same time, uh, they seem to have a rather tough time coming to agreement on anything. Um, so we have a lot of cleanup in, could, could be done there, and the if deafening in that code is, is horrendous and uh, will make your eyes bleed. So you definitely need to use some, some cleanup there. We have a couple of other projects as well. Uh, SMAC namespacing. Um, our friends at Samsung actually implemented uh, namespacing for SMAC a couple of years ago. Their particular use case went away, and so they've dropped it, but we could definitely pull that back up. That would be a, be a fun thing for some, somebody to do. Uh, InfiniBand support, libvirt, um, eBPF uh, controls, and the hooks are all there. We have a worked example on how, you, how, how one might do it in another system. So these should be really easy things for somebody who wanted to get, get involved in, in security module development to pick up. Um, and here's the big one, okay? It's about time somebody fixed Fedora so it could use SMAC properly. And what we really need there is, is a rule set uh, definition. Uh, we have rule set definitions, again, from Tizen, uh, from uh, automotive grade Linux, grade Linux that you can use as, as templates as, as a way to get started. Uh, but it would be really nice, really handy if we had that for Fedora, if we had that for Ubuntu, we had that for Debian, we had that for Suzy, uh, we had that for any of the other, what, we, what you might call mainstream distributions. Uh, those would be, it'd be just great to have those because we don't yet and I think that would really, really be a helpful thing for the community to have. Uh, let's see. What else do I have to say? I think that's about it, because I'm going to let you guys off the hook early, if there, unless there are questions. Excellent. Thank you.